guys welcome back to our channel what's up youtube hey if you guys don't know these are the new blenders oh yeah our new okay. blenders just came in the mail like literally like what two hours ago yeah yeah and the new baseballism shirt yes all right um i love these these are the heart rush i can't remember what yours were jade something right jade uh, masters jade masters jade masters um so in true kramer fashion we are taking an impromptu trip as you can see our back seat is empty we just dropped the kids off. It's like 4.20 on Friday afternoon. Aniston got out at 3.30. We picked her up and dropped the kids off at my parents' house. Um, and we are driving to a dealership to test drive a Suburban. Show them the, show them the outside here. Show them what they're missing in Arizona. Not much. Show them the mountains over there. Okay, there's the mountains. Look at that view, guys. The mountains view. are pretty. We're behind a smoggy, gross dump truck right now. But anyways, our lease is not up for a couple more months, so we were obviously not going to do anything yet. And then we came across a used Suburban that is a really good deal, has everything we want. So we're going to go look at it and see if it's worth ending our lease early and doing that instead. Um, so we're not positive, but we're excited because we have clearly run out of room in the Highlander. Um, I should have came before we cleared it out, but we had to have the whole third row down for baseball stuff. And Chris and I came and cleaned it out today and we're like, we need a bigger trunk like we need it so the only reason why we're choosing to end the lease early is because it's obviously a used car so there's not like a bunch of them so there might be other suburbans out there that are for sale but this has literally everything we need with low miles and it's chevrolet certified so it comes with a nice warranty so it's worth at least looking at then we can say we looked if we decide we don't like it or if it's not right for us we can say hey we looked and we didn't we won't be sitting there wondering if that would have been the car for us so that's what we're gonna go do we decided against buying brand new um the last couple cars we've had have been brand new but they have both been leases so now we're looking at buying um we've always just leased the last couple times just because we get new cars so often um but we are ready to just buy something and keep it for quite a while so what we're gonna do is check this car out because like i said it's got everything we need um, I really couldn't justify having a 2021. I like the new body styles of the 2021, but I could not justify how much a payment would be on a 2021 Suburban. I'm talking like, that's almost like a mortgage payment, babe. Or actually like is a mortgage yeah. payment. So we just, we take a lot of pride in being, I don't know, I guess we could say we worry a lot financially. Like we make sure that we're making good financial decisions and saving and although we could afford technically a 2021 i don't want to be like car broke or house broke for that matter so that's why when we got our new house and we were approved for way more than we spent we were like just because we were approved for that we are not spending that we came in way under budget so we are bargain shoppers for sure and we're gonna go see if this suburban is it what do you think next time we come on guys we'll be in a brand new suburban pretty much so she's <laughs> telling you we've never gone to car shop and ever come out why am i car. letting you be on here you're calling me out how rude. well i'm just being brutally honest with the people okay we've never gone car shopping and never come up with a new vehicle it's not true, it's not true. Oh, i can think of a time where when we went to look at the kias the one time 24 we left we never got a kia well, that was because it was a Kia. And then... No, we, we traded a Pontiac Firebird No, 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 no. I'm talking about that one, the newer Kia vans when Annie was a baby. Me, you, and Annie went and looked at them. Oh, well, that's because... And then we also looked at Hondas that one time and decided against a Honda. So, yeah, there's a few times. Although he's right. Generally, when we do something like this, we are getting a new car. But anyways... So, we'll see you guys in our new Suburban. Uh, a little bit about the car. I'll tell you because I don't know if I'm going to film at the dealership. I'm not a fan of, like, filming in public doesn't She's, care i don't care. i'm shy and i don't want to film in public so it's a black suburban so i'm not huge i like black cars i think they look really sharp and like nice and when they're clean but i worry because arizona is full of dust so black cars and dark colored cars get dusty very easily here and then obviously like a black car in arizona is going to be a lot hotter i don't know but it has literally everything we need. It's a premiere, so it comes with every option under the sun. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we think. Next so maybe I'll come back and show you guys at the dealership. Twenty-four. Maybe. West if not, I'll come show you guys. Three, two, Chris oh, saving two, the day. North is yeah. on the right. All right, we'll be back shortly. Hey, what's up, YouTube? So we're back. We're inside the dealership right now. Okay. Christy doesn't like to talk inside the dealership, but 
I don't mind. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you guys outside and give you a first preview look at our new Suburban that we're going to purchase. Not so we did decide. Fun. So I'm going to take you outside right now. We're going to walk out. Did, should I get the sales lady in the video? Do you want to be in the YouTube video? <laughs> All right, YouTube, we're going to go outside. You guys, if you didn't see, we're wearing the new apparel. All right. This is kind of murdered out, y'all. I'm kind of excited for it. Okay. We're going to do a little switcheroo. This right here. Oh, why isn't it focusing? Oh, it's not focusing. All right. Hope you guys like it. It looks very nice. All right. I don't know if it's still open. It is. So you guys can see it's got some wood grain interior. All right. Very spacious compared to our old car. Double DVD players. Okay. It's got all the, all the bells and whistles in it. Everything Christy wanted. So... I'm digging the wheels. I don't know if y'all seen those 22s, but looks pretty sick. We'll uh, we'll give you guys a better view of it when it's more light, and uh, we're actually driving it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm finally back to do the new car vlog and show you guys a little tour of what our new suburban looks like. We got the car Friday night. We didn't get home until really late Friday, like 10:30. And then all day Saturday, we were busy with baseball tournaments and the same with Sunday. So it's now Monday afternoon and I'm finally getting around to doing the vlog for you guys. Um, you would probably laugh at me. It's a high of 64 today. So us Arizonans are absolutely freezing. It's the wind that's making it so cold. It's been super windy today. So I have my sweatshirt on. I'm going to try to be outside as little as possible because I don't want the camera picking up all the noise from the wind. So right now I'm obviously standing in the garage, but I want to go around and show you really quick. I was going to empty it out before I showed you guys because the trunk is full of baseball stuff but Jackson has practice tonight so there's no point and you guys know I keep things real with you all so I figured why not leave the baseball stuff inside so you can see just how big the trunk actually is um, I wanted to also go through the car wash but it was calling for rain now I'm not so sure it doesn't look like it's gonna rain but I definitely didn't want to go through the car wash if it was going to rain so you guys are seeing a real-life glimpse of what my car looks like it's not vacuumed out it's not detailed it's not anything this is us so let's start with the trunk really quick I wanted to show you guys I got this super cute um, keychain bracelet off of Instagram a cute little shop I want to say it's called it's a star baby I'll link them down below in the description or put the name of the shop anyways but I love the idea of a keychain bracelet so when you just want to run into the store or something really quick you can just grab your keys instead of bringing your whole purse so um here's our new key fob we actually got kind of stand right here so you guys can see better we actually got three of them which is pretty rare when you get a car um so you actually have the if i can get it to focus let's go right here there we go we have lock unlock um this is for just the glass and then the trunk and then obviously the alarm so it does have automatic remote start so i just have to push lock twice and then hold down this button in the middle i'll show you guys how that works in a second first i wanted to unlock it and instead of pushing this button two times to open the trunk i'm going to show you one of my favorite features for when you have your hands full see dusty handprints no don't mind i'm wearing socks with my burks so you just have to swing your foot like this and it opens the trunk which i thought was pretty cool so here's the trunk the third rows up there's all of our baseball equipment in there as well as the scooters um, it fits so much no more having to put the whole third row down another one of my favorite features is there are buttons back here they're kind of hidden by the ball bucket kind of you see them a little bit and you push those buttons to put the seats down so you don't have to manually fold the third row or the captain's chairs in the middle down um, because it's so windy out here i'm going to step over here and go back in the garage for a second and kind of give you guys a little view of the car. 
Um, show you this side. Sorry about the wind once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the trunk. Push that, so that's gonna close. And now I'm going to start the car with the automatic start. So you, oh, the bucket's not out of the way. Hold on guys, we gotta go back. Um, I wanna show you guys how the automatic start works, but there is a bucket in the way. When I pulled that out to show you the buttons, I didn't push it in all the way. One sec. Ugh. I think that should do it. Oh, it's the scooters. Because you know, you gotta always have scooters with you wherever you go. Make the other two ride them at baseball. I'm actually gonna take these out because Chris does not need them for practice. So we'll just take that one out. Okay, so. Sorry, if you are new here, you will quickly learn that my videos are not edited. They are raw, they are real. So we're going to push this twice to get the trunk to close. It just opened again all the way, there we go. The trunk is closing, once that closes, I will show you guys how I do automatic start. So, twice, and then hold down the center button, and the car starts. So, I think the sales lady said this will go for eight minutes before it will turn off. So once you get in the car, you still have to put your foot on the brake and push the start button for it to go. So it just kind of warms the car up. So if you, it's in the winter and you have the heater on, you're warming it up or in the summer and you want the AC on, you're cooling it down. So that's kind of a neat feature. So now we'll get in and I'll kind of show you guys some of my favorite things. We'll start in the back. And this is another really cool feature. So these buttons, you don't have to unlock the car. As long as you push the button and you have the keys like in your purse or in your pocket, it'll unlock and lock. So, like I said, <laughs> we were at the dirty ball field all weekend. So here's the third row. It's very spacious. It's a true third row. Since it is a full size SUV, we put Cohen and his booster back here. There's so much room and he likes to have the third row to himself. And at first I thought it would be a little bit of a fight because it had a DVD player. I didn't realize there's two DVD players. So you can open this up and that comes down for a DVD player for the third row. And then we have a DVD player for the second row. They obviously play the same movie, but it's really cool that he has a screen to watch and doesn't have to try to look between the captain's chairs. Um, and they have the built-in cup holders there on the door. I'm gonna kind of try to stay in here and show you guys that way I'm out of the wind because it's so loud. Down here, they can re uh, control their own heat and air and all that the temperature control as you can see i have to vacuum my car out already because like i said we were at the ball field all weekend i think it's really cool that we have a full outlet here and then um there's all these usbs do you see these usbs here guys and i think there's even two or four more in the third row and then this is super cool jackson was excited about this the heated seats in the third row or the middle row i'm sorry excuse me the captain's chairs so these two captain's chairs obviously aniston's is useless because she has a car seat but I need her here so I can reach her and help her in the carpool lane at school. I can't help her unbuckle if she's in the third row and she can't quite do it yet herself. Um, this is just a handy little storage compartment. The walkway to get through is much larger than obviously our Highlander was. So that's really helpful for when they're trying to get into the third row. Um, so Jackson was super pumped about the heated seats. So I'll go up to the front now because that's really all there is to show you back here. it in um let's see i'm gonna go ahead so once you get in all the chevy stuff comes on um i'm gonna go ahead and push it on because like i said after you do the remote start you have to start the car maybe i just turned it off <laughs> she told us we had to start it i don't know oh well we're not going anywhere so we'll no it's started now okay so there is a huge center console right here, you guys, ginormous. Um, we kind of just keep our driving glasses and stuff in here right now, so there's that. Um, I like that there's light in there so you can see everything. The one cool thing about this center console that we've never had in a vehicle before is this wireless charging pad. So you could take the case off of your phone if it has the wireless charging capabilities, and you could lay your phone without the case like this and it would charge. The only bad thing is, is this car is a 2017, so the phones have gotten significantly bigger since then. So I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and it will not fit here. Like it fits just right, but it's kind of on the sides a little bit. So the wireless charging pad does not work for our phones, which is a bummer, but not a huge deal for us because once again, we have two USBs here and then there's also two USBs inside this center console. So you have your 
cup holders. You can have that closed when you're not using them. I'm actually gonna move the USB car charger into here. Um, it can plug in right here. I don't know if you guys can see if it'll focus. And then I can run the cord out here. And that way I can keep this closed. I'm actually gonna do that now. So I can keep that closed. Put the cord in there and I'll do that later. Um, let's see. There's a huge glove box over there. I really like the wood grain on the car. Um, another feature that we have never had in one of our vehicles before is we've never had the cooled seats. So both sides have their own. Um, there's either a heated seat option or a cooled seat option. So right here, this top one, if you were to push this, this would heat just your back. If I were to push this bottom one, and you have three different levels, so there, this would heat my back and my bottom. So you could go like this, and do like, oh, I only want it on a one, I'm not that cold, you know, like kind of choose. And then over here is the cooled, the one with the little fan picture. So same thing, there's three different levels, but you can turn your cooled seat on. So on a nice hot day in Arizona, you can have a cooled seat. So I thought that was pretty nifty. We were excited about that. We've had heated seats in our Highlander and our Subaru Legacy also has heated seats, but we have never had a vehicle with cooled seats. Um, these are just your basic like temperature controls. There's the three zone climate control. So we have the rear down here the driver and the passenger so everyone can do their own thing. We just have it synced right now. Um, what else? Oh, this is pretty handy. This is a heated steering wheel. So you could turn this on to heat your steering wheel in the winter time. Um, what else? I thought this was pretty handy. So if you hold right here, it's like a secret compartment. So there's another USB in there and then I have my sunglasses in here, my new blenders I just got, and then my driving sunglasses. So that's a nifty little compartment. Um, up here we just have our regular, um, like the sunroof controls. I think it said it had like a sunroof and a moonroof. So you have the slide, tilt options, open, close, things like that. I'm sorry, it's not focusing very, there we go. And then you can link your garage door, which we still need to do. And then this right here is to control the power lift gate. You can have it either on max, which is what we have it on now. So it opens as wide as it can, or there's one, an option to have it open like three quarters of the way sunglass holder and then obviously here's the um, sunroof slash moonroof and one thing I thought was pretty cool is when you're watching a DVD in the car like for some reason I think it's cool but I also think it's dangerous so like with both the screens open in the back and the kids watching their DVD it shows on this screen too while you're driving so you have to like turn it off so when Chris was driving we turned a movie on for the kids and it was like up front it was like despicable me or something like that and the movie was playing the whole time as he was driving on the screen so we just turned it off but it's pretty basic um you've got your maps your text you know like i have it has apple carplay or android i'm not even sure what we have apple phones so i'm not sure what android auto i think is what it's called um so we have our phones connected so i can do apple carplay um and then other than that it's pretty basic um like i said this is a 2017 we really liked the new 2021s we did not want the payment of a new 2021 so we found a nice used one that had literally every option we could think of this is a premiere so there's really nothing this car like you can't get this car really with anything else it has everything you could think of under the sun we even have an extra towing package i think other than this um i'm not a huge car person so i could be wrong but i believe the only other thing higher than a premier would maybe be the high country and i think that, that has a lot to do with like trim level and stuff like that i don't know if it necessarily has more options i could be completely wrong so please don't quote me on it and don't get mad if i have no idea what i'm talking about but i never thought when i wanted to get a suburban that i would get one that was a premier because i just didn't think it would be in our budget um even though we could afford technically a 2021 i didn't want to be tied down to a car payment so i was like let's just do the responsible thing and find a nice used one and i'm so happy we found this one it's everything we wanted the only thing i was nervous about was the black interior and exterior with all of the dust in arizona but i think it'll be okay you can see how huge it is um, we have so much room the only thing that was wrong with the car when we got it you can kind of see on that very back rear window the tint is chipped so um the dealership when we were looking at it we told them we're like oh man you know the tint's chipped and they said no problem we'll fix that for free so we're going to take it in. They're supposed to call us sometime mid this week to set up an appointment to take it in and have the tint on the rear window fixed. But other than that, it's in excellent condition. 
it's got 49,882 miles, so not too many. Um, and we're just super excited to finally have a car that we can keep for a while that we're not going to outgrow. So I just wanted to come and give you guys a quick little tour of the inside. Um, I'm not a car person, like I said earlier, so I probably didn't explain things very well, but I just thought I would give you like a little peek on the inside and the outside and show you some of our cool features that we thought were pretty neat. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys all have a great week.